Over the past few months, several people have asked me if I have a Patreon account. At first, I didn't know what Patreon was. I thought it was some other social media platform that I was supposed to be on, like David, are you on Pinterest? But then I saw lots of channels linking to Patreon, so I checked it out. And what an awesome idea. Patreon is a way for people to make things happen by donating to projects they're interested in. Basically, you sign up to make a small monthly donation, a dollar or two dollars or five dollars a month. And if enough people are chipping in, that makes it much easier for someone to do whatever it is you want done. I make YouTube videos whenever I have the time. If you've been following my channel for a few years, you probably remember when I was only making one or two videos per month, sometimes even less. At some point, I set a goal to make a video every week, and that was pushing it. After a while, I was making two videos per week. More recently, I've gone through spurts where I make a video every day. I haven't been able to keep up that pace for very long, but I'm working on it. Why the increased output? Two reasons, mainly. First, jihadis tell me they're going to chop my head off. And when they threaten people, their goal is to silence them. But it actually has the opposite effect on me. When they keep telling me that they're going to kill me, I think to myself, well, the more jihadis say they're going to brutally murder me, the greater the chances that one of them is actually going to do it. So I'd better get as much done as possible with whatever time I've got left. And I end up putting out even more videos. Second, over the years, I've realized more and more that we are a special generation with opportunities that no previous generation ever had. I first saw this back in 2010 when Nabil and I made a video called The Original Burn the Quran Day. It was about Caliph Uthman ordering Muslims to hand over their Qurans so that he could burn them in order to cover up the differences that had emerged in different Qurans. Muslims today are told that the Quran has been perfectly preserved right down to the letter from the time it was revealed to Muhammad. But this is just nonsense according to Muslim sources, which means that Muslims have been lied to. But they're not going to hear the truth from their leaders or from politicians or from the media or from Hollywood. If they're going to hear the truth from anyone, they have to hear it from us. So Nabil and I made a short video and we posted it on YouTube and after a while I saw that it had reached 100,000 views, which isn't a tremendous amount. I've got videos with millions of views. But it was cool because we were just goofing off when we made the video and lots of people were watching it and learning the history of the Quran. Anyway, when I saw that it had reached 100,000 views, I clicked on YouTube Analytics, which tells you where people are watching it. And at the top of the list was the United States, then Great Britain, and so on. But I got down to like eighth or ninth place, and it said 3.6% Pakistan. And I thought 3.6% of 100,000? That's 3,600 people who never would have heard that in their own country because they'll riot in the streets if you criticize the Quran. I went down a couple more places and saw 2.4% Saudi Arabia. 2,400 people in Saudi Arabia. And that's when it hit me. For 14 centuries, Muslim leaders have been able to keep their people insulated from criticism. If you went to a Muslim country and started telling people about Muhammad and the Quran, you'd get your head chopped off. But now, for the first time in history, any Muslim with an internet connection can hear the truth about Islam and about alternatives to Islam, and their leaders can't stop them from hearing it. And I've seen this over and over again. Muslims believe something that's utterly absurd. I post a video responding to it, and Muslims around the world watch it and hear the truth. For a recent example, let's look at some actual numbers from a video. Muslims keep telling me that I'm scared to debate Zakir Naik, even though I've repeatedly challenged Naik to debate, and he's repeatedly backed down. So, what Muslims believe about Zakir Naik being a champion debater is ridiculous. I made a video titled Zakir Naik is a Joke a few weeks back to tell Muslims the truth about their champion. Here's where people are watching it. At the top of the list, India, where Islam is certainly a concern. 53,000 views. A few spots down, Malaysia, Muslim-majority country, 13,000 views. 
Then Indonesia, Muslim majority country, 11,000 views. Two spots down, United Arab Emirates, almost 10,000, a little lower. Saudi Arabia, 7,300. Bangladesh, 6,100. Pakistan, almost 5,000. We're talking tens of thousands of Muslim viewers, and that's just one video. And the takeaway is that no generation has ever been able to share information as rapidly as our generation. That gives us opportunities that human beings have never had before. And we need to take advantage of these opportunities because of the times we live in. If you look around, jihad is increasing rapidly. Here's a chart of global deaths from terrorism from 2000 to 2014. Why are there so many people who are blowing themselves up for Allah? Because their heads are being pumped full of complete nonsense that never gets challenged. We're the first generation of non-Muslims who have open access to their heads, and we're the first generation of non-Muslims who have open access to their sources. So we're the first generation that can use those sources to undermine and refute what they've been taught. That's why I've been cranking out more videos lately. Now, there are YouTube channels with so many subscribers, the video creators can spend all their time creating videos because they make enough money from ad revenue. If you've got an apologetics channel, that's not happening. You have to do other things to survive. So if apologists are doing 10 different things and one of them is making YouTube videos and you want them to make more YouTube videos, you can chip in on Patreon, which allows the apologists to spend more time making the videos and less time doing other things. Right now I'm focusing on becoming consistent with making a video every day, but that's not enough. So in the coming months, I'd like to get some additional video makers involved. My wife would be my top pick. She's funnier and more sarcastic than I am. Some of the hilarious things I say in my videos actually come from her. I might try hiring a video editor in my area when I get a chance. Half the time I spend making videos is the editing. I actually like doing the editing. It's fun, but it's time consuming. And the time it takes me to edit a video, I could record another video. Apart from that, I'm realizing that translations are important, at least into some of the major languages in the Muslim world, Arabic, Farsi, Urdu, and so on. I recently recorded 26 videos in a studio. You'll see those when they're done. They're being subtitled in Arabic, and after that, they're being dubbed in Urdu. I don't think that everything needs to be translated, but it would be nice to have a good series of videos on all the basics of Islam and Christianity available to everyone. By the way, since people ask, I'll say it again here. If you're bilingual, you have my permission to download my videos, subtitle them or dub them or re-record them in another language and upload them to your own channel. I'm not stingy with my material. I just want people to get the facts. Somewhere down the road, it would be helpful to have some sort of studio with a big desk and multiple chairs for guests and TVs playing clips in the background. I'm happy making videos in front of my books here, but I think it would be devastating to various propaganda machines if I and a couple of others had some sort of nightly show on the internet where any politician or reporter who says anything stupid about Islam is immediately corrected and held accountable. That way, anyone who's watching a program and sees some spin could send in the clip for nightly refutations. Those are some of the things I'd like to get done. What I'm doing right now, I'll keep doing this no matter what happens. But if you'd like to see more, you can see way more. You can see professionally recorded videos. You can see videos translated into multiple languages. You can see two or three new videos a day. You can see nightly shows. All you have to do is click this Patreon button, sign up for a monthly donation, and I'll do the rest. By the way, there are some rewards for patrons. So check out the page.